What's up, it's Gladiator here, and today we're going to be doing a beginner's guide to the play.staratlas.com site. So it, it entails a lot of things. It has a lot of layers to it. Star Atlas is a wonderful game that is ever evolving and developing, and, and things are very layered, but yet all come together. Very much like a, a watch. If you look at the front of a watch and you see that that hand going around flawlessly, and that second hand, you know, it, it it is in perfect time. If you take the back off that watch and you turn it around, you see all these little individual pieces and cogs and wheels and sprockets doing all these individual things. But in unison, you turn that thing around and it's flawless. Well, that's much like all these layers in Star Atlas, and we're gonna be jumping right into that. So the reason why I have myself in the center of the screen here, except in the corner as usual, it's one of the big steps to getting into the um, Star Atlas community is you have to learn a little bit about cryptocurrency if you're a gamer. Now, if you're um, a cryptocurrency guy, you're going to have to also learn a little bit about gaming. Now, I think everyone has a little gaming at heart. You, Everyone's played some type of game, whether it's a board game or a strategic game, a strategic, <coughs> excuse me, game or a trivia game or something along those lines. Now, a phantom wallet is, uh, I'm going to click on it here. So I put my password in previously, so you guys can't see my anything, even how many characters my password has in it. Um, I feel pretty comfortable about the security of the blockchain. And that's that's why I'm not real concerned about putting things out there and showing. Uh, I, I hope I'm not incorrect about that. So what I have here is, is I have the Star Atlas DAO that I, the Polis tokens that I don't have staked at this time. Now I do have um, the Polis token staked. Now the Polis token is, it gives you voting rights or basically from what I understand, ownership in the game. And, be, and because you have that ownership, it gives you the right to vote on proposals. Now those are coming up. We heard from Michael Wagner recently in a Twitter interview that he has done that uh, th this is something that's going to be coming out. They're going to be giving us a few options of a proposal. Now, we can't write our own proposals yet, but we're going to be able to vote on one of like a multiple choice, if you will. We're going to have multiple choices that they're going to propose in the, in the beginning in order for us to choose one of those. Uh, and that's how we're going to utilize this token at first. Now, I have to say this about the Polis token. This is the DAO token in previous games. I'm not going to mention names, but successful games that have had a, a DAO have easily, I don't want to say easily, but have shown performance up to $800 a token. And when it happens, it happens very quickly. Right now, the tokens are at, I don't even know, uh, 19 cents or something. They're, they're, they're low. They started $19. Right now, it's at 19 cents. And it's uh, we are at the end of a very long development period where things are about to unfold and people are going to be very surprised. Now Solana is the blockchain. See the Solana token here. Solana is the blockchain token that the game runs on. That's the platform in which it runs. That's the fabric. That's the blanket uh, in which Star Atlas is developing on and we are moving upon. Now that exists in the internet, in the, the vast web and it is a considered a web three because it's blockchain and the way it interconnects. You go down here to the Star Atlas Atlas token. This is the cryptocurrency that is our in-game currency. Now there is not an, a turned on economy of Star Atlas, but again, it's at the precipice. It's at the cusp of that happening. It's a very exciting time in Star Atlas. And, the reason why I'm making this video because people have requested that um, this video be made to try to understand how these things fit together if you haven't been following along in the project. I'm happy to do it. I'm glad that that was brought out to me and I hope you enjoy the content. Ethereum is something they've added recently. I keep that in there because Ethereum has a lot. I personally am not a fan of a big fan of Ethereum. They, it was a good start, but it's very pricey. Um, something to go back and note about Solana is how cheap it is on transactions and in uh, the Star Atlas game runs on transactions and you're like what it costs money yeah it costs like 0. 0.000001 Solana 
to do a transaction. So it's so minimal. You can play for hours and hours, and it's maybe cost you a couple of pennies. Like it's it's not going to be nothing. Uh, so that is just an introduction of what the Phantom Wallet is. I prefer the Phantom Wallet because it is recommended by Star Atlas. Uh, Inter Intergalactic. I'm going to be giving a lot of shout outs in this video as well, guys. Intergalactic Herald is one of the individuals that he makes some really great introductory step-by-step -step videos. He also puts out a weekly news bulletin that I'm subscribed to. I recommend you subscribe to that as well. So when you first turn on the PlayStarAtlas.com page here, and I'm going to move myself back up here in the corner. Just wanted to show that. So the Never and Alone class, and guys, we're not only going to be going through the slides, uh, we're going to be going into each one of them. I want to start out from what a new player or a new person coming into Star Alice is going to see right when they open the page. So if we scroll to the left, the Never Alone Quest is something that is kind of a social campaign to get things motivated and that's brand new. That's why you're seeing it first when it pops up. This is something that is just happening. Now if we go left at that, the first thing that we come upon is the story. And we're going to briefly go over these and then we're going to actually go into each one. I'm going to try to tie all these things together the best I can here. It's going to, it's going to be interesting. So you have a discovery here. This is a comic series that is a virtual comic that is you collect along the way. There are special uh, covers that are collected and you, at the end, you can, from what I understand, you can then culminate all those and kind of cash those out for a hard signed copy of the of the book or of the collection itself. It's, it's very interesting. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna cash mine in, I'm, I'm digging it. So then you have the showroom. So the showroom is the Unreal Engine 5 version of Star Atlas. Uh, that is where you see a lot of the review videos that I've made in the past, if you've had a chance to see those. If not, check them out if you're interested in buying a ship. It's good to scale what it is that you're getting okay um now if we jump to the left this is big time i don't want to i don't want you to think that there's nothing here there's a lot here let's go to the left escape velocity now escape velocity is the test um that they are using the, the movement test that they're doing right now and we'll also be covering that there's been a lot of talk about that lately there's loot to be found millions of dollars being given away uh, and ships in totality if somebody finds the, the tanker ship, uh, not millions, I'm sorry. I was thinking about the, the campaign, the Never Alone campaign, where at the end of the year, you could get the $2 million ha uh, land or the, basically it would be a fantastic guild facility is what I think of, but it's like 2 million bucks. So I was wrong about that. Escape Velocity, they're giving away a tanker ship is the, the top prize there, which is $100,000, nothing to sneeze at. So if we go from the center here and we go right, we're going to go to the faction claims. Now, faction claims is where you can enlist your claim stakes. Not to be confused with the faction fleet, which we're also going to dive into that. And I can really just put this video out here and then we're kind of casual today and and as we walk through this, I can see how it'd be easily confusing because there is a lot of layers here. So if you hit enlist, uh, you know, I can connect the wallet and we'll we'll dive into this, um, how you can collect those things on a, on a daily basis. So if we go back up here to home, we jump back to that starting page. So we went to the faction claims and then if you keep going right, I have tucked over in the corner is the marketplace. Now the marketplace is a whole ball of wax in itself. It's been around for quite some time. And one of the more unique features of this game um, and, and how that's important uh, to me, you know, money, money talks and bullshit walks. So let's jump back to this Never Alone campaign. Uh, the music we're playing here is a no copyright just little uh, instrumental only techno that we're, we're going to be popping off to as we're, we're watching the video here. I hope you're enjoying that. If you have any recommendations for a music that you would like, put it down below. So if we jump into this start quest, I'm going to have to move myself again. Um, 
Oops, we have done this before. Or should I, if, right here where it says connect. Um, wrong screen, I'm, I'm running multiple screens here. So where it says connect up here in the corner, I'm personally connecting with my Discord. Now, the Styles Discord is a big, big time place for us to, you know, we, we have a lot of fun here. And I'm gonna, I gotta pop this off the screen just for a second. We, that's where most of the main things that happen in Star Atlas happen is in the Discord. Now, oops, I'm gonna pop this back up. I don't really want it to take the entire screen just quite yet. Sorry, I'm, I'm botting out here. So, if it pops up, you gotta give them authorization. It ties the account together. No, they can't save my password. Okay, so as you can see up here, um, I'm at level, I'm 42% of level seven of completion. And if, if you click on that, it kind of tells you where you're at, uh, what, what the things are that you've done already, and how much farther you have to go, how many points you current had. If we go to the, the quest is what you actually can do. Now there's different levels to them, and as you unlock those levels, you unlock different glimpses and fragments. Now, this video is not going to cover the totality of what's involved in the Stellar Atlas Never Alone. This is kind of just helping tie everything together. This is a new social campaign. You can get on here. I have just a few left, yeah, but it, it helps you to earn points, early experience points, that can then later be cashed in for a multitude of prizes points for your DAC and ultimately win that big prize or have a chance of winning that big prize of two million bucks for that uh, I think it's the largest land ownership piece that you can have and maybe we'll jump into that I don't know what the name of it is exactly I think it's maybe like land tier land higher land hub tier five and they have one in each section of the Oni Ooster and so on leaderboards so Craig still holding it strong at the top, man. Kudos. So Craig's um, it puts out some great news. He does the Hologram News Network. Shout out to him. Um, I, I really enjoy watching his content. Let's see. Let's jump on down here. So I I do know Pock the Pirate. Pirate. I don't know him myself, but I know he's you know he's on here recently. I enjoy watching his videos as, as well. Excuse me, Beyond the Horizon is a, a new content creator that's been coming out. I've seen some of his videos as well. Um, I, I, if I miss anybody along the way, you know, leave it down in the comments. Hey, be like, hey, Gladiator, you missed so and so. So uh, here, here we are at 30. I'm still chipping away at it. You, you get notifications if you succeed or fail. And, and those now sometimes I I have messed up a couple of them and failed them. It, it is what it is, guys. So we're gonna close out of this and we're gonna go back to this main page. I'm gonna move myself back up to the top corner out of the way. We shouldn't have to do that anymore. And we're gonna go to the left here. So to discover the story, you have to have access, and how you have access is by having that phantom wallet and signed in. So everything's gonna be connected to the wallet that you create, the, the wallet that you sign into with your um, Discord. I'm sorry, not your Discord, but the Never Alone campaign. I don't want to confuse you guys too much here, but it, it's the Never Alone campaign, and it, you want to be able to connect to this. You want to be able to connect your main wallet to this in order to follow that wallet along the whole time throughout your Star Atlas career. That's what I was trying to get out. Sorry, I was getting a little distracted there. So you connect that wallet in. That's the one your XP is going to be built on. That's the one that you're going to have throughout. So, you know, make a wise decision there on which wallet you connect. So we go to the story. You have your comic book series we're going to discover that you can i'm jumping to access to it and uh you know you you can see the core episodes as they load in and you have there's one free of every episode so you don't have to buy them in order to enjoy it 
the, but there are collectible covers that you can get. So let's jump back. Now the showroom. The showroom is what you get into in the Epic Games page. So you would load up your Epic Games page here and at this time, you need a special access code in order to get into that. Now, if you jump into the Discord, you can you can jump right into that. Now, you see Epic Games is no joke, guys. This isn't some third-rate kind of a, a platform. You can see in Fortnite, I'm launching that right above where I'm launching Star Atlas. So let's launch Star Atlas. And let's jump right into that for those new players that's never seen this before. Uh, this is not a showroom review or anything like that. I just want to show you what to expect as you're clicking along here. So, I have a ledger that I also have, but I'm not gonna be connecting that for what we're doing today. I'm gonna be collecting, uh, connecting one of my other wallets. So we gotta change the wallet, we go up here. I have quite a few wallets. this for a moment bear with me okay so I, I it's just the only way that I really uh, know how to do it here guys is to cover this up I apologize so this is where you you pop in so I've logged in my one of my wallets here and this is where you start. You can pick your person. You can go right into the showroom. You can do a flight trainer where there's dog fights and uh, flight races. We, we can go ahead and click right into the showroom here. Uh, as you can see, I can host this. I can have my friends. You can have your friends in. Uh, we can all jump in together and uh, you, you can have multiple players in there. Now they are testing it still. There is another up that update that we're talking about that's around the corner. One of those updates is for UE5. The other one is for Sage. Or you can just join. You can join a um, session that's already in. So I can. we're going to just host a solo play here for maybe one minute so you can see what it is. And we're going to jump right back out and keep going. So, so far, we've covered the kind of the own overview of play.staralice.com. We've clicked left and right. We've talked about the never alone campaign and how you can achieve the it's a social campaign and how you can earn early experience points for the star atlas gameplay itself now this is the ue5 and i recently just did a video on this rainbow ohm that's why we were loaded up right there so the showroom is this actual building and it also gives you the ability to load in the NFTs that you purchase, or at their SFTs, actually stackable fungible tokens, because there's more than uh, one, from what I understand, there's more than one that can be made. It's not just a limited run, that uh, there's only a hundred and that's it. There, it can be added to, it can fluctuate, it can be, it can be burnt and subtracted away from. If we go to this platform here and we hit F, that brings us up to a op we have options here we can go to the marketplace which we're going to be covering on the browser but they they have completed that for the ue5 they just have not updated the showroom to be able to use that yet but we have seen that and some of the sneak peek things that we watch it now you can teleport as well to one of the places within um, the star atlas showroom you can choose different locations to spawn into uh, for right now, let's just jump over to the pier. We're going to hold F to teleport. And zip, here we are. Now that's the Guardian there. That's a $30,000 NFT. It is a great model right now. I'm looking forward to um, checking that out. Super cool. And also, you can jump on here and you can spawn any of the ships that you own so you have to have purchased one of these ships in order to be able to spawn it in and look at it so if i go up here and i click only own then i can choose to spawn um, any of these ships because i hold those in my wallet the tufa is cool that's one of the, the ships I'm, I'm super interested in so as a little bit of overview here i hope this helps 
uh, to give you a little understanding of the showroom. Now we're going to back out of this. I'm going to go back to the play.staratlas.com website. Okay. So that's that's what that is. Now, if you, you're going to have to download it on your PC, um, or you can, if you have an Epic Games page account, I recommend downloading it. You know, through the Epic Games page. There in August, I believe you said in the Twitter, they're going to unlock that to where it's going to be public access. You're not going to need that special code any longer to get it. But if you're you can't wait, you want to jump right in and get an access kit. So Escape Velocity. Escape Velocity has been um, the talk of the town here lately. We are all very anxious and waiting. This is a iter iterative release project. This is the first release of that, the movement test. Now next, we're gonna have mining and some crafting, I think, that's gonna be coming out. And I'm really looking forward to this. This could be the start of the Star Atlas economy, which is gonna be cool because that's that is really what it's going to bring value to the atlas token that we were talking about before and and put bring the value of the nfts and the sfts up as well so let's go to let's go ahead and jump in okay that's what we're here for we're, we are walking through it all so this is super early again you you just connect with that same wallet now you have options here we can do a phantom coinbase exodus soul flare a Taurus or a ledger. Again, I have the Phantom. It's already signed in. We're going to do play. Now, you say, Gladiator, where's your ships? Well, when you first spawn in, your ships will be right here, dead center. And this, where it says overview, you can see discovered and then you can see overview. This overview is what my actual individual ships are. So let's click on one. And it warps you over to the fleet that I currently have in the faction, or uh, excuse me, in the Velocity, Star Atlas, Velocity page here. Sage. Star Atlas, Golden Air. Escape Velocity. Getting a little twisted up. It's There's a lot of information. It's a lot to just put out there, um, casually making a video. So, let's take a breather here. This is pretty cool. You can warp and you can move various spaces and you can also, excuse me. <coughs> you can also just work one. That's what I generally do. I just work a space and do it, do it that way. Um, you can also see what I've discovered while doing that. You, you work a few spaces. You scan. There's also videos been done on that. Uh, I've got some hat paints. I've got some escape velocity posters. It. It's super cool. It, it, it does take some finger clicking and to do it. So I want to back it down from super cool to really cool. What's super cool about it is, is that it is an on-chain live mechanic movement test. So this is really what's going to be able to give us the ability to have possibly unlimited player lobbies. Yeah, I said that right. I, I was going to say thousand versus thousand players or something, but really it's unlimited. If they put, if they can do this right, there's unlimited transactions that is allowed to be made really across the globe at one time. It's really, a, it, it would be pressing the limitations of Solana, not the limitations of a player lobby. So it's very exciting, curious to me where this is going to go. So let's jump back out of this and let's go back to the Star Atlas escape velocity on the starless.com play.com now the reason why i say play.com is because there's a whole nother starless.com page that you have to go to or you don't have to go to but you can go to to get the ear so whew, it's a lot take, take a second here we'll jump under faction claims now faction claims is where you take your claim state that you've purchased and because you can't use them right now that's something that's going to come out in the future you can stake those in order to get a return on them now i'm going to be connecting that same phantom wallet i'm already signed in and you can see that this has already earned so much food so much fuel so many ammunition and so many toolkits for me today now when it fills up 
I, this is on three tier one claim stakes, by the way, that I have in here. When this fills completely up, it stops collecting. So in order to manage it, you have to just go ahead and you, you see where you're at. Now you can't see the claim or rewards because of how I have the screen adjusted. There's a little claim rewards button. Um, you, can, you can pop that in and collect it. Uh, we're just gonna leave it for now. So we jump back to home and we go to the faction claims. That's what that was, not the faction fleet, but the faction claims. It's only for claim stakes at this time. Now we go to the marketplace. The marketplace is is the place, if you ask me. This is where all the assets are are exchanged and where you can purchase assets from. Uh, there, I I think there are a couple other uh, side platforms, if you will, that you can purchase things through. But for me personally, I trust the Star Atlas Marketplace website. You know this this exact marketplace. Uh, only. This is where I get through. So, I also, before we start diving a little farther down into this marketplace, I want to go through this sidebar that we have. So, if we click the top one, that is our home. And if we go down here, we have our leaderboards. Now, this is where you can see what the top player wallets are, how much money is in that right now. And so the top player in the mud territory has $464,000 in value uh, to his wallet. Now we're gonna go over that. Really, this is probably closer to 900,000, something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why right here. Jumped out to the marketplace. That's where all the things are, are at, where we talked about. It, now this is the inventory. This is my personal wallet inventory. So these ships are, are the ones that I own, just like it says here on the on the screen. And it also, if you go up to the top, well, just one second here. If you go up to the top, we can go to the collectibles and you can see, you know, what's going on, what I own. I, I have uh, three Sammy Banks. We have, uh, I have a vintage astronaut suit, a Tigu, of course, a little skin for Tigu, all the patches. Hopefully I can put this vest to use someday. Uh, the skins that we've got given to us along the way and uh, the skate velocity posters that I showed you that I just found. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. As far as access goes, officer's badge, VIP, and the start sequence badge that I uh, participated in. And I, I got three of those because I bought a base tier hab in each one of the space stations. So I do have that VIP license. If you notice, that's also why I, you know, I have the VIP hat. Now it is my belief, and I could be wrong about this, and I really need comments on this, guys. If you know, uh, if you're for sure, but in my mind, if I purchase this and I own this SFT, and if it's an NFT SFT, I think that gives me the rights to use this um, as you know, to put logos or whatever. As long as I hold this, I own it. I own the rights to it. I have purchased that. That's why there is such a thing as NFTs because it, you have purchased the right to use that and to make money off of it. Um, if I'm wrong about that, I could be wrong about that. I'll put it down below, guys. I'm, I'm curious to what your thoughts are on that. So let's, let's go forward. We've already hit ships, structures. Uh, you can see a little bit of what structures I have here. I have started out just kind of s s slow here in a shotgun approach, if you will. You know, um, we are not rich by any means, and I am going all in in Star Atlas. As you can see here, guys, I've, I put my money where my mouth is. I don't have 100 bucks in Star Atlas making Star Atlas videos here. I, I mean, I'm, I am serious about Star Atlas. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of this game and what it has to hold. Uh, you can see I'm, I, you know, I've been stocking up on some four R's to make sure that uh, in case of sieges or things happen that I'm covered. I've, I've had every single core episode guys shout out to the designers, the Lord, the people creating the art to this, the, the lore. Great job. Fantastic. I look forward to the next one coming out. I know there's a little bit of law here, hopefully something coming out around Comic-Con. I don't know. Oh, I'm hoping so. Anyway, keep, we're going to keep right on going. So there's nothing else behind here. Let's jump on down to the faction fleet. Now, the faction fleet 
is where you can stake. It's basically like staking crypto, but you're staking your NFT that you purchase with crypto or USDC in this case. So by staking this in the faction fleet, I'm getting paid, as you can see right here, it says daily rewards, 1,174.46 Atlas a day. And uh, this last amount of fuel and things that this holds, it lasts about seven, six or seven days before I have to restake it. Now there are um, some of the, uh, there are some charts out there that list exactly how many days it takes to refuel, what your rate of return is. My breakdown is at the current price right now, let me give you the simpleton version of it. Uh, I'm making about 90 to 95 bucks a month just by this clicking away here and checking it within every so seven days, not letting it run out. Just click and manage fleet and refill, refill it. Um, it pays on the original sale price of the NFT of $30,000 because that's what it was originally. Now, it's not what I paid for it. I paid $6,900 for it. So uh, to get $90 a month on $6,900 for the last seven or eight months, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm jamming on it. So they, it, like I said, it pays out on this. Now it goes for all the ships. It pays out on this origination price. So that's where things are interesting. You know, even though the market's down, it's been paying out steady. Uh, if you are a hodler like myself and you are diamond handed Star Atlas, it, it has really been okay. So we have our faction fleet. We have our faction claims, which is what we've already, we already looked at about how that builds your four R's. You also have the gra the graphic novel, which is it's kind of a, a blow up of the, the slides that were there. Now the DAO. The DAO is something that where you can stake those Polis tokens and you can also stake the Atlas tokens as well. Now I'm not gonna get into the DAO. Um, I, I have quite a, I have some staked here guys, not a lot. Um, I have, I think the 10% mark is what I'm getting on the, the Atlas token. But if you launch the DAO, um, you know what? Let's just go for it. So right now I have 1,492 polis locked up. So not a lot, uh, enough, but I'm getting 1.8 polis a day on that. And I, I unstake these. Sometimes I put them right back in. Sometimes I put them in my other wallet, as you can see. And I also, I didn't want to go real far into the staking of the Atlas, even though it's super cheap right now. It's hard not to because this also gives you a little bit of a reduction in this DAO share. And I do not know what the DAO share is. So we, in order to make a smart move on this is a 10% fee reduction in the market because that, that's going to depend on how much trading I plan on doing um, or purchasing and, and trading. So, I don't know. That it's Will that overweigh the Dow share, especially in the beginning of the game when there's not a lot of players? I, I'm not sure. I don't know yet. Uh, so, man, it's really tempting to move this up, but I, like I said, I, I, it's just, I don't know enough to make that investment yet. But you can, here it is, uh, your Atlas token, and you it also gives you a Polis reward. So on those 10,069 tokens, I have one point, I get 1.63 Polis tokens. Uh, that's what I have ready to go, and it is 0 0.04 Polis daily Polis rewards. Now if we go back, you also have your Polis locker. Now your Polis locker is where you can choose the locket for a longer amount of time, and like you, you can see five years. Now it is, I started with five years and it's ticking down. I have four years um, and some, four years, three months, and 30 days, as a matter of fact, you can see right here. But this is the total circulating supply of polis, the total locked amount of polis, and the total vote is, uh, polis voting power that is, is locked in. So it, the, and they're dropping 50,000 polis a day in order to uh, reward the people that has per purchased their polis tokens and put them in here. So if you're in long term in the game, this gives you voting rights. It's going to be able to make sway on taxation and you're going to vote on the territory that you probably that you hold or the guild holds or the faction holds that you're a part of. 
So it's it's a very layered game. There's a lot of things to it. I hope I've done an adequate job of kind of jumping through. Oh, okay. Let's let's not forget the last thing. So the player profile. So the player profile is what just what it sounds. So the player profile tells you where your your rank is, okay? This is my public wallet address. It's a Ryan uh, Ryan Guild .soul, If you want to check it out for yourselves, so that my universal rank is 430. The faction rank is 176. My net worth is $8,299, and the I've been a little over a year's time. I do live in the United States of America. Now, there's not very much of a selection on Avatar, and I chose to, you know, put my officer's badge on there. I thought that was fitting. The $8,299. So that's selling the Guardian at a $4,195 price. Now, how do they come up with that price, you might ask? Well, it's curious. So if we go to the marketplace and you see this buyer that he's he has an, a standing offer of $4,195. I click sell on this. I can sell that Guardian right now for $4,195. Now, if I am not in a hurry to sell it and I just want to list it for sale and wait for that time to come that the market has adjusted itself and came up to a price that someone would purchase it at that, and I'm going to list it up here. Now, this EN number is a wallet, almost like a bot wallet. There's another wallet on here. They're, they're constantly buying and trading on the market. So the reason why you could sell it at this is because they have purchased it at this price down here where somebody's got kind of in a bind in their in their life and had to dump this asset off and then they'll sell it for another you know add a thousand bucks on it and sell it this one probably won't set very long uh, matter of fact as you can see it's listed been listed 15 hours ago so it hasn't been up there very long and the next one selling that was listed nine months ago was twenty four thousand four hundred. so and the next one after that uh is forty thousand so as this sells, this price will ease up and this player is going to just hold or hodl their guardian until that time comes and collect that $95 a week. Now, if the Atlas token goes up, so will your return. So with the Atlas token being low, uh, it's like 0 0.003 cents right now, a third of a penny, and I'm getting $95 a week. So, or a month, I'm sorry. So imagine if that comes back up to that five cent mark or 10 cent mark that it, it was previously at when this economy starts. Now we're talking sweet returns, like let, let's go returns. So guys, this is an all in review of what Star Atlas is, um, how things work, how the, every layer of Star Atlas we, we've touched on and how that all fits together. Now there, is, there are still more things to be talked about as far as faction fleets, lore, well, what ships to buy, what role that you would choose to be in Star Atlas, and also um, how, you know, exploring the territory of Galia and communicating with our fellow people that make videos. Uh, Atlas Theory, shout out to you, man. I, I like watching your videos as well. Um, what is it, OG Thor? pretty sure that's what it is or Thor uh, I, I I like your videos as well man so shout out to metaverse nomads uh, nomads like your video uh, metaverse explorer like your videos man uh, shout out to you as well so this is just a general overview and the reason why for beginners and how to tie things together and the reason why I'm giving shout outs in this video is because I I think if you are new you want to hear some of those names that you might be wanting to look for as you're strolling through YouTube and, and trying to find some new content. I am Gladiator. Well, I am a commander of the Guild Orion. Check us out in the Discord, and I will see you in the next video.